Okay, welcome to this new update of uh, Kaboom. Uh, this is very cool update, very cool update with very better dynamics. Uh, so let's uh, make a scene from scratch. So I will just select this one and push this back. I want keep the I want to keep the light because uh, uh, it's much better to viewing uh, smoke. So let's create a random scene like this. Evil. Okay, and let's duplicate this like that, and we will create a, a ground. Okay, so you can find uh, Kevin's fracture uh, tab here, and we will fracture this one. With a small amount like this. Okay, that's done. Let's add a blaster. So I will animate it. Here, from here to here, I will make this bigger like that. Okay. And moving it along. Okay. Uh, let's make the the inner radius uh, bigger like this, much more, much more force from the center, and we just have to play the simulation. We'll end this, and let's play this. It's okay. So I want this to be a collider, so we'll just go here in the rigid body section data does uh, this same for the ground and let's play this and it's okay nice oh i will reduce the timeline and reduce uh, it in uh, the rigid bodies i want to uh, have something uh, there Uh, so that's good. Is it maybe a much more strength? Let's try this a bit more. Oh, sorry. Just change the settings and play blast, and uh, hit blast, and uh, it's okay. And it's done. Maybe more, much more random. That's good. <clears throat> so now I want to add some uh, some constraints. For this uh, constraint, I added a uh, selection only. So you can select what I like to do. I like to to select only the the moving parts and leaving the the, the last one uh, free. You can select uh, uh, something else. Uh, that's not a, a problem. And I will add some breakable. So there's a small time of computation, uh, depend on the number of uh, blocks, and that's done. We know how uh, I can hide this. Okay, we know some blocks uh, stick together, so I want to I can push it up, and the update is just making a blink. Okay, cool. I want it to be stronger, maybe twice. That's cool. But maybe I want to I'm still in the dynamic simulation so I can <coughs> I can play it again. I can change these settings and uh, maybe uh, make the core radius uh, bigger. Oh uh, core radius bigger and let's try this again. That's much more violent. So let's reduce this. You can play the blast. That's cool, but uh, 
this one can make some random <laughs> simulation so I will try to keep it down okay that's good that's good for me so once you are satisfied with the motions you can bake this and just hit the baked keyframes so there's some computing times depending on the number of blocks you have and there we go each blocks are baked this one is uh, useless now you can kill it or hide it and you can get rid of all these tabs open tabs by just sliding the mouse uh, and, uh, and click and uh, slide this is pretty efficient so we have this we have just uh, bake it to keyframe so we will now um, can add some uh, debris so if I add debris it will be added uh, for all the motion uh, and depend on the motion of the, of the blocks and you see some uh, some random uh, issue we can uh, we can see here but that's not a problem we'll, so we'll see how to fix this <coughs> so uh, this settings are, are changes here you can you have this one which is uh, the speed the dynamics at which the particles are emitted so the lower the settings the more particle you will have so if i will push it to this and uh, update debris let's see yeah that's much better for me and we have another new things here which is impact impact uh, will generate debris on the uh, ground collision for example and on the explosion this is based on the uh, dynamic change for the the blocks if it stop uh, or it's if it start uh, fast or stop fast uh, it will generate debris so you can update this and update debris you will, you will see much more look at this is pretty pretty cool to have this and now let's get rid of this random flying guys who we can see here so for this you can select one of the particle system and go here in the settings and you can see now uh, there's uh, many uh, many particle systems uh, debris added uh, which is different than, than before uh, you can have many more than, than this uh, depending on the settings you you use and you can uh, update all uh, all these particles uh, and sub particle systems uh, at once just go to settings and now we want to get rid of this flying guys uh, uh, so we'll just go to physics in uh, integration and let's add one subframe in the integration this will update the, the calculation of the particles uh, and we just have to deploy particles so these settings will be uh, deployed on every uh, debris particle systems so deploy particles so it resets and now we don't have it anymore that's cool so if you want to change some other things like uh, the size of the particles you can just update this here let's make it twice bigger deploy on particles and that's done you can change the velocities and uh, every settings here and update and it will be okay so maybe i want it to be much more following uh, the, 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 the emitters so let's deploy particles That's nice for uh, an explanation of where these particles come come from I just want to show you this is the uh, the collection where uh, the particles are, are based on, on the, the geometries of the particles so you can change this you can update this these particles you can make some uh, some of these ones bigger and uh, for example these three ones i want it to be I can duplicate it and keeping this in the, the in the same collection 
and if I make it bigger you can see what happens so let's see if it works better yeah that's pretty cool when the particles are you don't make difference between uh, blocks and uh, emitters and particles it's good. you got the uh, pretty efficient result so that's it and if you want to make your own particle system your, your own geometries you can uh, just uh, pick a, a new collection here so this is the one uh, uh, generated by default so I can hide this and we have a pretty dynamic scene uh, with uh, in few times this uh, slide is uh, very weird so I can change this by changes the friction like that okay nice so when you're okay with the all the settings you you can update you can change the settings now I, I, if I can if I want to add more debris I can update debris everything will will be updated now and you can uh, go back and forth to, to the settings and update uh, particles and de update debris and change until you are, you are satisfied with, with uh, the result and that's pretty pretty efficient to, to work with very very creative because you uh, you always uh, um, are uh, mastering the what you what you are doing that deploy you can change this if you want to make to put five on it this will be much more explosive you know see like this deploy I'm pushing it up like that and everything is real time it's very cool very cool to work with so let's make it as it was I, I was satisfied with this settings uh, so now I can just uh, bake all dynamics uh, it just will uh, bake the cache of all the, the particles and that's it so now you can play it like this and it's, it works fine so okay very firstly having a nice uh, dynamic scene but there's more with the smoke now the smoke is just amazing so for the smoke just hit add smoke that's done and uh, I just have to just need a, a smoke domain so for this the better is to uh, use select uh, the, the scene so some object in the scene and use add smoke domain and add smoke domain will uh, create the, the, the domain around your selection that now you can scale it uh, so it will be much more uh, much more efficient for your scene you can move it we'll scale it this axis this one too maybe a bit more in this one Okay, and uh, yeah. Okay, and that's it. Once you have this, you can just hit play and look at this. So now you have two settings now for for the smoke. Uh, the default settings are just crazy good by default. And you can change this by uh, this is uh, the smoke generated on, on move. Uh, this one, uh, this is uh, generated when uh, the, the objects are starting moving. So you can uh, push it up or, or down. Uh, and uh, the other is uh, unexploded. This is when it changes dynamics. So when, uh, for example, it explodes or, or on the impact. So by default, this is just super cool. I just have to update this, and let's make a better like that. I can use noise, and I can use a bake like that, and bake all. 
So let's just wait. It's pretty fast. Uh, we just optimize everything to to be the faster as possible. So let's just wait for for the bake, and uh, you will see in a few minutes you have a very cool destruction scene. Okay, so now just look at this. This is super cool. Now uh, the, f the smoke is very much more dynamic than before. Uh, because before we, we were using particles to generate the smoke and uh, particles in Blender are just uh, the left behind of the Blender foundation and I will have no hope they will uh, update this uh, until they do something with uh, Geometry Node. So um, the particles uh, used to work uh, with Dynamic in Mantaflow but not, Im not anymore and I have, I'm hopeless they, they fix this, uh, this problem. So we turn to uh, object uh, dynamics to generate uh, uh, smoke and it appears it's just super efficient and we have a just a crazy dynamic smoke here. With default setting it just just uh, super cool. So that's it. Enjoy. And there's something I forget to talk about. Uh, let's hide this. I want to, I can make a rough cut uh, on, uh, on the, the blocks, so let's see that. I can hide easily the particles if, if I want. For the smoke, just hide uh, the KB smoke uh, uh, collection. And there you go. And now you can, uh, you have this flat cut uh, uh, from the Voronoi cut. Um, you can get rid of this and uh, enhance uh, the, the result of that. For this, you just have to select uh, to go to your, your group and uh, while selected you can uh, enable rough cut. This operation takes time, uh, depending on the number of blocks you have to process. Uh, it have to, to to make a calculation on uh, each block, so it can take a long time. Uh, but just wait uh, while you you're seeing this uh, this custom icons uh, uh, cursor. Uh, just wait. If you have a big amount uh, of blocks, it can really be a long long process. But after that, uh, it's okay. So just be patient uh, and. Uh, just survey the, just look at the, the progress bar. So that's done. So what we have here, uh, we can, uh, we have many level of subdivision. You can, you can see here, uh, you can uh, change from zero to, from the base to one, two, this to three, you can change the amount of this place, uh, the size of the of the noise. All right, and you can uh, decimate. So this will optimize the the results. And if you want it to be much more uh, uh, fast in the viewport, you can. Disable it in the viewport, and it will be rendered, but not in the viewport. And you can uh, so apply it. So uh, every ge geometry uh, will not be uh, a dy dynamic uh, anymore. You can't. You, you will not be able to to change uh, these values. Because of course, uh, the, uh, this uh, the amount of uh, geometry added will will slow down the the viewport uh, preview. So that's what I forgot to talk to you about. 